Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> so if you want to book a personalized reading with me, Capricorns, I am doing a $30 reading right now to show you what you might get or what you can expect when you get a $30 package from me. So we would go into the qualities of your person, the type of person that you have coming in, the personality they hold, the key dates of where, when, and how you may meet this person, the obstacles you both may in, um, endure, their feelings towards you, what actions you should take in the meantime until they arrive, and the outcome. So these are people that haven't heard from their person just yet that keep saying they're coming in, they're coming in. We'll find out why they haven't yet. And if you have met this person, there are people coming back from the past um, in some of the readings. So there is a chance that it may be somebody coming back around for you. You may have walked into them already, or you may have already met this new person as well. So we'll dive into that and see what happens here. So for Capricorn, what type of person do we have coming in here? Ooh, the devil showing up in your own reading. <laughs> so this may be another Capricorn. This could be their sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. And I'm getting more of the sun signs that are coming up for the first card. So with the Capricorn, you can kind of expect them to be kind of ambitious. They're very down to earth and realistic. They're very disciplined when it comes to something they really like to do. Um, maybe even so disciplined when it comes to something they like. And, but they're very sensitive souls. So they can really feel uh, other energies and pick up on how other people may be feeling. They may also not be able to take too much criticism <laughs> so they're really young at heart and they could be quite fun to be around depending on their sun moon rising and venus sign that goes with it so <laughs> let's have a look see here because with the capricorn you're kind of with that devil card they usually um it's usually all about uh, uh, control issues and adultery and self-sabotage and obsessions and desires. But with Capricorn, they try to face those things, or at least that's what the best outcome is for them, is try to face the things that they have issues with. So it's all about what the Capricorn possesses, and not that they're possessive, but they have, it's about what they have, right? So they need to face these things in order to become a better person, and it's usually about behavioral behavioral issues right and I'm no uh, psychologist or anything like that so I mean it's just more or less what I'm picking up is some of the behaviors um, that we learn for our life lessons I guess you could say so let me just kind of see here I'm kind of getting with that Saturn Saturn Earth that's going to be the root chakra so this is the Capricorn is really secure about who they are. They, If they've been and lost who they are, they come back to that eventually. And they know who they are and get that confidence back in that self. They, they're clear about who they are and what they want. Now, that root chakra is all about security as well. And that may be what's driving them for that, that financial aspect, okay? So I'm getting, let's see, I'm getting a Taurus. Now, this may be their moon sign. They may have a lot of earth in their energy. You may meet this person on January 1st to the 9th. Maybe it'll be for New Year's. And again, you may meet them again or see them again in May. 
<clears throat> there might be a little bit of time in between. You maybe this person lives at a distance to you. So another Capricorn coming in. Wow. Okay, Capricorn. What's on the bottom of the deck? Four of Swords. Oh, so they may see you as their safe space that they can kind of be who they want to be. They can be themselves. They're at peace from any previous pain. You may be um, fun loving with this Capricorn. You may have a lot of same ideas, same kind of things going on there. It all depends on what your moon sign is, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Those main ones, depending on which planets you have, you could be a really good match with this person. Usually Capricorn and Capricorn don't usually work out, but for compatibility, it's usually a Taurus for a Capricorn. So another earth sign. So ho oh, ho. Oh. We have four of air there. So you may actually meet this person for the first time in Libra season. So October 13th to the 22nd, I'm kind of getting. Now they may be taking care of some responsibilities here. So let's find out here about where, when, or how you might meet them. All right, triumphant success. So they may be out celebrating. It may be at a restaurant or a pub, bar, whatever you want to say. And it may even be a house place. This might be like um, a housewarming party or hmm, some type of celebration here. Let's see what else is coming in. Okay, so uh, they may get a, some type of truth here. They're good with their shadow side too. So they, they're in touch with both sides of their themselves. I'm feeling like they're they're quite good with that. They may have been doing some shadow work here. Now somebody may have some type of truth that they want to tell you. You may be in the dark about this, I'm getting. So you're going to meet them at a celebration. You may meet them through a friend that has, somebody has some type of truth to tell somebody here. Now, it has something to do with you or that your person some type of truth about somebody here now i'm getting that it might be about gossip i feel like there might be some gossip going around and i feel like that it's nonsense it's just hearsay or it may be just somebody making shit up but it might be to deter deter this person from connecting with you and somebody might tell this person the truth after they've heard some type of dark, I don't know, gossip about you. They're going to hear the truth about you or they're going to see the truth for themselves. I kind of feel like with this Capricorn, they're a trailblazer. Usually Capricorns are. They make their own path. They are leaders. They don't usually follow the rest of the herd. I'm getting <laughs> Why am I hearing heard? I don't know. Third eye chakra. This person can see clearly. And I feel like this may be they pick up on energy and they have the maybe even one of the clairs, the clairvoyance here. Maybe a mediumship here or some psychic abilities. Spiritual I'm getting. This person might be they may have gifts. So we have one, one, eight, two, one, nine, two, six. We have 1820. We have 206. We have 186 or we have 16. So I would plug some of those numbers into the angel ancestor or angel <laughs> messages on Google angel messages and then 
whatever number I said, or maybe 2006, put 206 in there, and put um, messages or love messages. And then that will tell you about the love aspect of it. Otherwise, it just gives you a general um, type of message. Until you put that love in there, it's just going to be generally. And with that love in there, it's going to make it a different message. Okay, so we have, what do we have here? Oh, movement. Okay, so somebody's moving, movement choices and decisions here as well. That one kind of popped out all on its own. And then number two, so this may be moving towards making choices and decisions when it comes to a partnership here or a love interest. So this could be you. So maybe once they hear some type of truth, they may end up getting some, I'm kind of getting some, uh, gifts if they pass some type of test. Maybe that's when this third eye chakra will open. So this is Ascended Masters bringing this in. If I add all those numbers up, it's number 11. So I add them up and then you add the two digits at the end and it ends up being 11. So I think it ends up being 48. Wait. 20, 47. 47, so 7 and 4 is 11. Yeah. So if you're wondering how I got that number. <laughs> so Ascended Masters with number 11. Hmm. Let's get some tarot on this first. Let's see. Tell me about the devil. Oh, so we have, they may have learned a lesson here when it comes to four of swords, previous pain. There may have been a lesson they just previously learned here. I'm getting five of cups here. This is Scorpio season. This is October 23rd to November 2nd, so perhaps you see this person again around that time, Capricorn. You see this other Capricorn around that time. <laughs> so they may have been learning something or be in school, but there's some type of upset here, crying over spilt milk. This may be some type of of breakup at one point here that they are trying to get over trying to find that sanctuary healing I'm getting with that four of swords yeah look at that deception okay with the ten of swords hmm this may have happened in June this just June that just passed here from the 11th to the 20th, somebody may have broken up here from their person they were with, but they learned something about themselves and they're healing. So yeah, look at that. They're fighting it. So they are definitely fighting for themselves. I'm getting that with the Knight of Swords, I'm kind of getting that they're wanting some type of change. They're ready. They're taking action. They're seizing the moment. They're being assertive. And perhaps they were being before they weren't. And they might be standing up for themselves is what I'm getting. Let's find out how they, how they meet you or when. Oh, wow. They want to definitely plant seeds with you. So the two of wands is that fire energy. So let's see here. Fire energy... This person may end up coming in March the 12th to the 30th. So you're going to see this person on and off throughout the year. Now, this may be times that you meet them and I'm kind of getting, you're going to meet them before then. You're going to meet them, what did I say? The devil card. Hmm. 
You're going to meet them in May. You're going to meet them... No, that was when they broke up. They are crying over this. So, you may actually meet them Scorpio season, I think is what I said. 23rd to November 2nd. This may be your first meeting or encounter. But you're definitely going to see them periodically throughout. Now, this may... Um, what did I say? March? Is it March? Yeah, March 12th to the 30th. That might be when you maybe move in or I'm getting make it official. Maybe it's exclude. It, maybe you become boyfriend and girlfriend or a couple. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. So this person may have a lot of fire in their chart and air, a little bit of water. And a lot of earth. All the elements except for water mostly. So let's see. Nine of Wands. You're going to see them again in Pisces season in March. So you're going to see them throughout. It's going to be periodically. But this Wounded Warrior, they are trying to heal. And this is kind of like having that keep going despite what they've gone through, right? It's going to be through a celebration. They are making choices and there is going to be some truth told to this person about you. If they pass this test, or if you pass this test, Capricorn, perhaps you are the one that is going to get this third eye gift chakra. I feel like you, if you do the right thing, or if you do what spirits already maybe mentioned to you, you may, you may have more than one Claire here. You might be Claire audience. I'm getting. How is this pe person going to feel about you after they meet you? How are they going to feel about you after they meet you a few times and really get to know who you are? I have to deal with my pain to be able to open up my heart to love again. So they're definitely still healing and they're being really realistic here about how they're feeling. They're not shying away from it and they're being upfront and open and honest about this. I hide my true desires for you because they're, they may be a little intimidated by it. They want to have time to heal things through. So they're not bringing that extra baggage with them to your relationship with them. Let's see. How is this going? You are so beautiful inside and out. So they really are taking notice of who you truly are, not just what you look like. I have never loved anyone the way that I love you. So eventually this person is going to realize that they do love you, that they're falling in love with you. Let's see. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you. So now this person may not see you. Like I'm getting that they may live at a distance. And this why I said they might move in with you is so... I'm getting so that distance gap is closed so they can actually really get to know you a bit better. And I feel like they kind of really do like what they see, what they know of you, and what they feel. Let's see, what are some obstacles you may face with this person or other obstacles that make it in the way of this union? Tell me about the obstacles, please, Spirit. The obstacles. Ah, self-love. Definitely that healing. We kind of had that already. I see that card a lot. What is this self-love? This I feel like this is about self-worth. Realizing what your worth is. I feel like you may... This person here... Um, your person may be feeling like they've lost who they were. I kind of picked that up earlier kind of lost who they were, um, lost themselves in a relationship where they became what that person wanted them to be instead of being their authentic self and still loving self. They were giving way too much. 
Ah, they still have things to resolve and discuss. So they always feel like there's unfinished business between the two until you guys come together. So this distance is kind of what I'm getting here that is an issue for this person. They don't like not being closer to you. Runner. <laughs> this may be a twin flame relationship. Now, they don't want to run anymore. And I'm still getting that distance, having to go home and come back. And that is kind of like that kind of like that twin flame kind of relationship. I, I guess that there's distance. You don't see them for a bit. I mean, you would probably talk to them um, periodically whenever you're both busy, got your own lives. But trying to get together here might be more of a challenge. Now, this person may run <laughs> from this connection only because a twin flame is usually fairly intense. It's a fairly intense soul connection. Your souls mirror each other. It's electric. It's a high frequency. Yeah, look at that. Mend. I want to fix our connection. So, I don't want to say they're going to ghost you, but they may have ghosted you. Like, and not contacted you right away, or got busy and couldn't talk to you for a bit or something happened and they weren't able to contact you. Tell me another. Yeah, this person wasn't happy the way things were going. Maybe they, they this distance, the distance, the distance. Let's see. Yeah, there's a soul tie here. I always feel connected to you. And I feel like that energy may be so strong, you're going to feel that vibration when they are close by. Even if you can't see them, you're going to feel them first, or you're going to have that anxious feeling coming up. You keep finding one another. You keep running into one another, maybe years in between. But I feel like this may be somebody you knew from before. This may be an acquaintance or this may be somebody from your past. Let's see here. What action should you take in the meantime? What can you do in the meantime while you're waiting for this person to figure this shit out? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Okay. You may feel in despair here. And this is going to be a change here. That sense of freedom, and maybe it feels like they don't want to commit. You may feel there's some instability here, too many conflicts. They're not able to adapt. You're kind of curious about where this might go. You almost look at it like an adventure. But this person isn't feeling the same way, or you are chalking it up to them not being on the same page is kind of what I'm getting. So you may mourn this even and feel that despair because you don't see this person very often and you're not sure if they are still wanting this connection. We have mature woman and occupation. So spirit's kind of just saying just keep going with what you're doing and you're mature for your age. I mean, you could be an older person. I mean, it's not saying that you're not. It's just saying even if you are 26, you're mature for your age. Okay. You have that maturity level. So we have five, six, and seven here. So it is progressing up. So I'm kind of getting with the mature woman, number six, this is wanting that cooperation and harmony with this person. You're very family oriented and maybe even very responsible when it comes to what you do for a living. Maybe whatever service you are providing, you're very caring, nurturing. I feel like that motherly type, you may not be a mother, but that just that really overall loving energy. Okay. Now, you might be reflecting and looking at this. <laughs> You're going to use your intuition. I feel like there's some major spirituality going on here. Um, there's 
you're very logical and maybe you're trying to have some type of analysis when it comes to this that they're just not on the same page they don't know what they want and I feel like this person is struggling with this with this union let's see what's on the bottom yeah they may even be going through um, some type of financial issue in why they can't come over and this may be a problem because they want to see you and this they might feel like it's just too hard they don't have the money to keep coming back over maybe you are going over as well maybe there's there's some type of ending here when it comes to their poverty I feel like when the two of you get together there's something maybe that you're meant to be doing here so let's see here before we do the outcome I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you yeah they want to take that leap of faith with you they want to take that risk I feel like their financial issues are going to come to an end. And this could have been karma they were facing for this Capricorn. What's the soul tie? <clears throat> they may be waiting for some type of news. Or I feel like they're inspired by you. They, they want this new opportunity with you. They want to act on that chance. But I feel like this poverty may be keeping them at a distance where they aren't able to come in. They're very positive when it comes to you and very enthusiastic. And I feel like this is all about waiting for the right time I'm getting or messaging you. I feel like this person feels stuck at the moment. Even though it's in the upright, uh, I feel like they they're getting unstuck. They're coming out of being stuck. I feel like this was an issue let me see prince of wands prince of wands page of wands yeah heartache marriage and boundaries i'm kind of getting here that they may want to marry you here they know you have strong boundaries and they know you've been hurt so i feel like they don't want to hurt you uh, they want to be sure that this is going to work out or that they're and nothing's guaranteed and that's the thing and it's really um, too bad that this person isn't willing to take the risk but I feel like it's more financial I'm sure they would if they could you know I feel like that's how they're feeling right now what's the poverty yeah they see you very beautiful you're very determined you may have your own business even and you might be the one that's coming out of poverty here rags to riches is kind of what I'm getting you're this mature woman working here and this may be some type of change for you you may have been in despair before when it came to your finances and I feel like you're doing much better when it comes to that I still feel like there's some despair here about this person. Maybe they ghosted you. Maybe they can't see you as much. And this may make you sad. But I feel like you put all that energy into your working and coming and making your financial situation a bit better. And I feel like whatever ideas you have, it's time to act on those. So if you are thinking about doing your own business, I feel like you're meant to start that keep going on that or whatever you're doing it's working it's kind of what I'm getting or will work out for you tell me about the occupation yeah this is the true spirit says this is something that is a breakthrough a new idea it's giving you some mental clarity or some type of success so this is definitely something that is turning in your favor I, I almost feel like the wheels should be here right so we're gonna do the after tarot as well let's do the outcome for Capricorn Ooh. that one does want to come out doesn't it let's see Ooh, very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now so whoever this person is that is the runner in this dynamic, I feel like 
It's Capricorn. You're a Capricorn. They're a Capricorn. Their sun, their sun sign is the Capricorn, or it might be their moon rising or spirit or their Venus sign. I was gonna say spirit sign. <laughs> All right. So they may have children. That may be what's holding things up as well. Maybe they're de trying to determine what they're gonna do about that. They may be adult children. They might be grandchildren. It may be affected by that. Perhaps you don't want to move closer to this person because you have grandchildren. Maybe they have the grandchildren. Maybe you both have children, 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 children. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Maybe you have young children. They don't have children of their own. So let's see here. <laughs> romantic feelings so there are a lot of romantic feelings here and i feel like they're worth exploring with this person and that's how that person is feeling as well is that wanting to go there it's just seems like there's one thing after the other oh calling in your soulmate so this might be a divine love because the soulmate and the runner chaser there is indicative of a twin flame and then with the soulmate call, card coming in, calling in your soulmate, this could be a divine love. What's on the bottom of the deck? Oh, wow, engagement. So this is the outcome of this. Eventually, things will work out here. Let's get one card, one or two cards here. Tell me about the engagement. Where's it going to be? No. <laughs> Tell me about the engagement. <laughs> uh, you have lots of options. I feel like you're going to have that financial freedom in a sense that you're you're not confused about this. I don't feel like this. This is about seven of cups. It can be about being confused or some type of illusion or wishful thinking even. But it's more about I'm kind of getting many opportunities that come with this and even an indecision about choosing wisely and I feel like this is a wise choice whoever this is you're going to follow your heart I feel tell me about the engagement tell me about the engagement wow look who's come in for you Capricorn this is your emperor showing up now, you could be a masculine watching this and your person may be a feminine coming in. They're just showing up in their masculine side, their boss side. They may have their own business. So they're showing up in their money making, uh, strong outlook type of energy. And the feminine side is more that nurturing and loving energy, right? The emotional side. And this is more financial I'm getting. So wow you have your emperor showing up <laughs> wow that's so awesome now this emperor could have a lot of options too but i feel like they're choosing you you are the one they want to be with so let's see what your intuition says and then we'll do the after tarot what is your intuition saying ah that they are watching you. You may have this business may be online. Maybe you'd have a TikTok or a channel or YouTube. Whatever it is, they are watching you. Now they could have somebody in the area that is keeping tabs on you to see what you're up to. I don't know. Um, let's see what this person's intuition is telling them. Ah. But this is a celebration. They're very happy about this. I feel like they can't wait to see you again. It's always fun to be around you. Let's see, Capricorn. Tell me about the four swords here. Yeah, look at that. This person might be uh, starting to have some type of success or they, I feel like this may have been a fight about money uh, when it came to this other person here, it may have been a commitment that they were in for maybe four, four or five years, and now it's over. 
It may have been that there was some success there and they might be fighting over, over some money. Tell me about the third eye chakra. Yeah, queen of wands. Now this could be you. They may be looking at giving you gifts if you pass the test with this person. Or they may be seeing you with their third eye, especially if it's a twin flame. It could be a telepathy type of telepathic type of um, communication there. And if you know how to tap in with that, you can send each other messages and even astro plane or astro travel. Let's see, what's this fool here? Yeah, look at that. So I feel like this with the star here, this is all about mind over heart, but there is a lot of hope here and promise. There's healing. They may be getting guidance in which way to come there was a son of masters there so they may be listening to their angels ancestors and spirit guides now there might be some type of public recognition with this person as well or they may see that with you if you have something online maybe you both do but whatever it is they want to take that leap of faith they see you as a very healing energy i'm kind of getting that healer healer or just you have a lot of gifts a lot of gifts tell me about the page of wands and the soul tie yeah look at that they want to give just a little uh they're not going to give a whole bunch they're going to give a little and see if you receive if they receive in uh with that equal give and take i'm getting they're going to give a little and see what you give back. And I'm kind of getting this is a lesson for you in a sense. Did you learn the lesson about overgiving? Now, you may have been the overgiver or this person may have been. And this person is only giving a little. Okay. So they might be learning a lesson about self-worth as well, which I feel like they did learn something here with the page of pentacles. And that may have been getting grounded again. They may have been learning how to um, grow their money independently. And that they may have been the one to have the success. And now I feel like they really got screwed over here with this Ten of Swords. Some type of deceit. And they now they have to fight for what they built is kind of what I'm getting here. They may see you in their third eye. I'm really getting that a lot. I th They may get the gift of sight or they have the gift of sight and they see you. I feel like you are this queen of wands. Although you are an earth energy, I feel you may have bossed up or started your own business or you're planning to do so. And it's going to bring in a lot of coin is kind of what I'm getting. Tell me about the Queen of Wands here and the Ace of Swords. Wow, King of Pentacles. So they bossed up even more so as well. They were coming in as the Queen of Pentacles. They were nurturing and reliable and resourceful and a lot of material success. And now they're coming in as the King of Pentacles with that wealth and that smarts and the abundance, um, discipline and power. They're a provider now and they want to provide for you. Now you may be doing your own thing on the side. So you may both have a better opportunity if you're together. Uh, less cost is what I'm getting. So you're not both paying for a place. You're not both having to pay costs out and it's cheaper to be together, move in together. What is this Ace of Swords? Yeah, the, I knew that wheel was turning in your favor. So because this is what you should be doing or what things you could do in the meantime, what action you could be doing. So there's definitely that wheel of fortune turning in your favor. And I feel like you may be getting your dharma. I feel like you may have had somebody or 
maybe many people that did you wrong. And karma's a funny thing because spirit will, you might go, well, they're, they're doing really well for themselves. Yeah, okay, but spirit has a way of building that wealth up just so they can take it all away. And it's funny that spirit does that because you feel like you're not getting validated because they're doing so well. And you're like, well, they're not getting any karma. But that divine timing is a funny thing. Spirit kind of waits until they have something that they cherish or really wanted just to take it away. So they really learn a hard lesson about, especially about the way people behave towards one another, about not showing that love to one another. And that's what really what's being lost here when it comes to society today is kind of what I'm getting here. Tell me about the engagement. Wow, it's going to make you so happy. You are going to be like on cloud nine. This is the happiest card in the deck. This is positive in all areas of your life. The money, the love, the health, the work. Nothing to hide here. There's joy and loving memories. Yeah, your life improves like tenfold. Like, wow, look at that. <laughs> I feel like in all aspects of your life, you're just going to be smiling ear to ear most of the time. I feel like there's a lot of romantic feelings. This person may really like to romance you. Now, this person is showing up in different um different ways here and I feel like this is because they've they've learning all the elements to become the emperor right and the emperor is very fair very traditional they they're that leader they got that stability and wealth and that power and a lot of passion now they may have Aries really deeply in their chart which really makes them very passionate and with that wands right so even though they are an earth sign here that they came out as in the start as the devil, which is Capricorn. So they may have a lot of Aries for a lot of their planets. It may be the moon. The moon will really affect that's emotions, right? A lot of fire, earth and air I'm getting here. Wow, so Capricorn, this is kind of what you can expect getting a reading from me. Now, let's have a look with the after tarot. Now, this was you with the Page of Swords. You may have been watching or you felt they were watching you. Tell me now. Wow, they're very yummy to look at. They're very attractive. They're showing up as the King of Wands now. They have shown up as the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in those energies so there's definitely have a vision here and this vision is obviously including you when it comes to an engagement here so they may have been watching you and watching i feel like they see you as like a happy-go-lucky kind of person like to have fun like to celebrate like to be with people that you love that family Tell me about the Three of Cups. Yeah, look at that. That Knight of Pentacles. Slow and steady wins the race, right? That solid offer. Now, this is somebody that is very productive and hardworking. They're diligent. They're reliable and practical. This is somebody that is a good person. And they have a good heart. So, I feel like Capricorn, whoever this person is coming through your emperor... Wow, they are a solid individual. They already know how to grow their money and they're already plotting new lands here to um, make that money. I feel like this person with that ambition I'm getting. Now, you may feel like they work too much. Um, maybe they're getting ready to retire, depending on how old they are. I feel like this is... 
they want to have fun with you and they may not want to work as much. They may have enough wealth built that they don't need to work as much. I feel like you may get them to play hooky a bit <laughs> from work. Um, a lot of passion between you. Wow, engagement. I love this for you, Capricorn. Things are really going to turn around soon. I feel like this is coming in. Well, it is already saying it is very soon. So just a matter of really deciding what you want, maybe writing out the qualities you want, wanting that person that you really desire and maybe it's better not to have a name on there because then spirit can bring in whoever this is supposed to be for you now sometimes we lose who our person is early and then spirit's got to work at finding someone to replace them that is going to be good for you so it may take some time to find them and i feel like whoever they get instead if that's the case I feel like this is going to be somebody that's solid for you. Somebody that's going to be really good for you. I feel like you're going to have a lot of common with this person. And you're going to have a lot of fun with this person. So in any case, that is what I have for you. So please like, share, and subscribe. Become part of the Divine Oracle Tribe. And if you want to book that reading, just give me an email in the description box. You can click on the more and uh, it will drop down and my email is there. My TikTok user number is there if you want to see what I have for TikTok. And none of the TikTok is the same as my YouTube. So they're all different messages on my TikTok. And even my YouTube shorts, those are all different messages than what I do for the readings. So you can have a look at the shorts as well. And wow, I think I've covered everything. Oh, and if you want to donate, you can click on that more button in the description box below this video. And there is a PayPal account that you can click on. It says PayPal for donations or something along those lines. And you can click on there as well. Now, I have a little bit of uh, confusion here when it comes to the personal readings because I use the same account as what I do for my donations for PayPal. Um, you do not need to donate if you are getting a personalized reading. You just cover whatever package you're getting and you don't have to worry about adding any more for a donation. <laughs> it just happens to be the same account that I use for the donations as I do for the personal readings for PayPal. All right, you guys. So anyhow, take care, stay blessed, and we'll see you next time. All right, later.